Hmm. Wait, did you spoon last time? Yes, I did. Alright, so here is what's going to happen. I beat the game in Death World settings, in default Death World settings, in under 8 hours. We had like 20 minutes left. And um, we could go for 100% achievements because we did Lazy Bastard 2 and um, everything required for the 100% rate. Um, but how about instead we increase the challenge before doing the uh, remaining achievements by doing Death World Marathon and increasing the biters to 600% because they were too easy last time. The regular Death World is a little bit too easy. <clears throat> right? So we do the Death World Marathon then instead, which is going to make the uh, all the technology cost four times more and the recipes are going to be expensive, which means that some things are going to require more resources, a lot of the things. All right, and we also do 600%, which means that enemy bases by in the default Death World Marathon the, de the bases are like this, which is also easy, right? So we do this instead. But uh, have you tried Link Sider Motherphone? <laughs> we'll, we'll get to it, okay? We'll get to it. It's alright. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> it's alright. And uh, I don't think I'm going to ch change any other settings. Terrain, water, cliffs, moisture, terrain type, frequency, size, richness of war, 100% is okay, I think. Pollution on the default Death World Marathon settings. Am I ill or did I just wake up? Both. <laughs> I got sick. And I just woke up. Uh, hello, Ord Waste. <clears throat> okay. So I don't think it matters if we are in the desert or if we are in the forest This, in this setting. The only thing that might matter is the fact that we have the oil in the beginning area, but at the same time, maybe I want the oil to be out of the beginning area so that it's a little bit even more harder. New start, you're in time, yeah. I'm trying to do a harder challenge, I guess. I guess it's a harder one, Death World Marathon. I'm gonna die anyway? No, I'm not gonna die. I'm a professional at this point, at this game, alright? Now, this is cheating, I think. If we have the oil in the beginning area, this is cheating. I don't want that. Alright, no cheating. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this is very bad because we don't have uh, iron. I mean, I, I'm okay with more iron in the starting area instead of like this, for example. But this is too close to the enemies, alright. I need to make sure that uh, my starting patch is not covered by the enemies, at least. <laughs> and then I also want the next iron to also be uh, on my... And, and, like, reachable, I think. Um, this? Look, I have a little bit of oil. It's small enough to be not considered cheating, right? We have a little more oil over here, under these biters. A tiny extra patch of iron. Over here. I think this 
is okay. This is okay. We have a lot of trees in the beginning too. Now, in order to get the extra copper though, we have a little bit of extra near the base, but the next one is only over here. The one that I see. We have a big patch of iron there. And the copper over here. So we'll have to do some, some fighting through to get the extra resources. That's going to be fun, right? Hmm. Okay, well, let's do it. This is going to take a while. This is going to be a long run and this is just the beginning. I'm wondering how many how many hours does it require to beat the game on this setting? Is 100 hours will be enough? Will 100 hours be enough? Risk of rain returns but only implemented mouse aim? No way. Oh, the 2D risk of rain with mouse aim is playable for EV now? <laughs> nah, I don't know. I had a little bit of fun with the risk of rain. But, I don't know. It's not... It's not as replayable as Factorio is. <laughs> or some other games that I play. Okay, well, I guess because this is on top of my iron patch, I will have to destroy my spaceship, unfortunately. Unfortunately, no spaceship. Okay, I think I'm going... To go straight for the electric miners, even although it will require a lot of mining here. Mm, we need what? Let me see. We need 100, 108, 120, 200. 200 iron is what we need to get started and 20 uh, copper I think right or the electric miner so the beginning is going to be slow and then the middle game is also going to be slow. Everything is going to be slow. Because this is the Death World Marathon. I guess I don't need any more to track my achievements because we did it. It's not like it's possible. It's, it's impossible to do the Lazy Bastard on the Death World on the Marathon anyway. Okay, are we doing on coal there? Let me refill the coal and then I will need to do more uh, furnaces. I'll go and grab the, the stone. A big rock here. Nice. Boom, 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 boom. OK, 
Okay. This should be enough. I mean, in the very beginning, I just need like three, maybe. Okay, the hand mining is going to end in a second here. Uh, boiler, electric miner, uh, offshore pump, and then 100 for the steam engine is the last thing that's needed. Okay, it's going to be to be doing there. All right, let me get some wood for the power poles. Might need more copper for more power poles. Wait, hold on. What's the recipe for this? Two copper cable for one copper plate. So the the copper cable recipe is the same, and the this is also still the same, alright. It's just the gear is more expensive. The gear is 4 arm plates and the electronic circuit is uh, more than twice as pricey. 2 arm plates and 8 wires. This nest over here, this very beginning nest, was this on the preview? I think on the preview this was even bigger because it was in the forest and I guess they don't actually spawn in the forest so this is the thing that we can actually kill here. And this nest is not as big as it was on the preview because uh, again of the forest, right? <clears throat> Yeah, we'll be able to kill it soon. Forty-five. All right, we're waiting for more. Um. Okay. Anyway, I need five pipes, and I need ten gears. Twenty-two more. Okay. 
We have the steam engine. The, the burner to just be doing the coal then okay then I will do a couple more electric miners for the copper and the coal and we can get started with doing the signs Okay, I think this should be enough hand mining. Mm. Holding on pollution. Taking okay. So let's take a look. Uh, the gun turret, which is going to be the most important thing, I guess, for now. We need uh, 40 instead of instead of 10. Uh, science packs. So before I can do that, I will actually have to be mining a little bit more. I think the... the next... mine I'm going to put on the... on the iron again. Because I need more iron. I do have enough copper for another one. I do have enough copper for another one. So just need to smelt the iron now. <coughs>
Alright. <clears throat> boom, 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 boom. Good morning, darling. Hello, Davy. How are you doing? Are you doing more Link Cider while I'm not doing Link Cider? I hope so. You're not blocked by me not doing anything, right? Gotta do some work on the game of one? Wait, I thought you... you stopped... making that one. Okay, sure. Do it, I'm having some fun with Factorio right now. I'm a little bit addicted to this right now. And uh, we also need to finish the advent of code. The golf game? Wait, is it the golf game? Multiplayer golf? Is that what you're making? <sighs> okay. So the last thing before the research, I'm going to replace this with the electric miner too. You remade the game for like three times. It's okay. The Link Sider originally was remade two times too on the gem, right? That's okay. I mean, it was remade three times because we have rewritten it too. Alright, okay, so I need to have a lot of gears here, specifically 40 gears, Ensign Gangwen, I don't know, do you like that game, is it worth rebuilding, nah, we are going to do Linksider anyway. Okay, we have the gears. Then I will do the science. Um, we need the science lab too. Forty sciences here, though. So for the lab, I will need forty and seventy. Okay, that sounds easy. <clears throat> they are starting to form the attack group here. Okay, the science lab. Once everything is crafted, we will start the research of the turret 
skip the automation. Yes, let's help it a little bit. Just waiting for the craft anyway. Let's help the copper mine because they're going to be attacking here. Can we just make them go after me like this? Okay. Okay, the science packs are done. Now I'm just crafting the lab. is here research straight to the turret okay in the meantime let's do another one of the electric miners Maybe this is a little bit too fast because if I am going to start being attacked, I do not have my defenses yet. <clears throat> uh, whatever. Let's just let's just do it. It's going to be okay, right? going to need a lot of ammo okay these guys are actually attacking ok 
Okay. The guys from the bottom might start attacking too. Soon. Light armor, sure. No, I think I think these guys we are safe from them for now. So these are the only ones that I actually need to worry about. Okay, I will also need the gears. 10 gears for every turret, right? Yeah. 10 gears is 80 iron. No, is 40 iron. I'm starting to think that I can add another one of the miners. While my turret is being researched. Have the armor, nice. Okay, now in order to get the first couple turrets, I want 40 iron to do the two turrets. The turrets will be like enough for me in the beginning here. Alright, I'm ready to do the three turrets. And 
and start actually defending myself. But I will need a lot more. Too much in case they die. Uh, okay. So now we just increase the production and make more turrets. I don't need more copper, I just need more iron. And probably a good idea to do the power plant. Make the power plant bigger here. Just means that I can put coal there and it will last for longer. Because I put more. Yeah, I see that the biters from the bottom nest are actually coming to this attack group too. Okay, that's good. Let's do, let's do more. Miners. <clears throat> uh, all right, let's also do the research. of the automation next automation right military I don't need military I'm not going to be killing the nests I mean that's it unless I try to kill this one but nah I don't think so. Two more turrets. Okay, I have more turrets now. Uh, let me put a couple of them here. I 
I just want to surround myself with turrets first, right? And then keep the expansion and automating. Do the raider. Sure. Okay. Still okay, I'm assuming that we are not yet polluting this nest, but we will soon. <clears throat> okay, we have the automation, which means that I can start doing the actually automatic crafting, which will help me a little bit. Just do it faster, I guess. Alright, uh, I also will need... Have more coal. All right, after that is done, I might start on the automation here. I kind of have some turrets here. So the first thing would be to automate the turrets and the ammo. Do some conveyor belts and inserters. Just acro them a little bit so that they come in smaller groups.
Um. Power right. <coughs> inserters. 12 inserters. Should be enough for now for the beginning. Did I have the radar? I did. So let's place it. Okay. Okay, let's see. What is it going to be? I need uh, I need copper coming into here. So this is going to be gear. This is going to be gear. Gun turret, and I have ammo. This is all I need for now. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, something like this, and then I also need to make the furnaces. Okay, let me start making the furnaces. Take this bottom array, for example. Make the furnace directly here. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's say that I'm having my coal coming this way, my iron coming this way. I'm going to make them go together into the furnaces from the furnaces they go this way right Okay. They, we have an attack group coming from below. This is bad. This is bad because I'm not really prepared for this one. Let me take a couple of these guys. Okay. This is good. Alright, so the next thing is uh, taking the iron out of these things. Making them go this way. Alright. Okay. The ammo is automated. Uh, the next thing to automate would be...
Next thing would be this stuff here. Let me refill my boilers. <clears throat> Okay, the iron is not being produced right now because I need more furnaces. I need 16. I have 10. Um, I will first, though. I will first, though, finish this stuff. Fill these furnaces for now manually. Okay. This is going to be automatic defenses. Automatic defenses. Good. Once I have enough, I might just kill this nest. Iron to be coming towards the turrets though. I'm using it too much. Let's use less. Between this, I guess, as uh, some iron is going to come towards the turrets. Okay. No, 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 no. Wait, what? Don't do that. They decide to come for me instead of for the turrets. Nice, ah, because they are coming to form that tag group below. Over here, yeah. Let's see. Let me get one of these. Okay. The turrets are indeed being produced.
Okay. Things are going well. Things are going pretty well here. One thing that I could do is automate the... Alright, I'm still not polluting the nest to the right, which is great. The guys from the top are doing something. Is this the expansion? Hold on. This looks like an expansion, right? Over here, they're trying to place a new nest. Guys, don't do this. Okay. Can I research something useful to me? Uh, stone walls, I think, might actually be the next one. Maybe even before the logistics? Or do we do the logistics? Um... I want to do the wall as soon as possible so that I don't need to run... And refill my turrets manually. Because I'm going to forget and I'm going to die. Hello and devil. We're doing good so far. This is just the beginning of the... Death World Marathon. With 600% biters. Um, yeah, so I'm like thinking, is it worth it for me to kill this nest right now? Might be worth it. Actually, no. It's not worth it. I have too many, too small an amount of turrets to do this. Not doing it. Not doing it. But actually, like, the fact that they try to go and form the attack group down below means that I can kill them off faster. Right? Before they come and join the group. Okay. Out of power now. Let's do more steam engines. And let's automate this stuff. I mean, do I want? I don't think I actually want to yet. I can come and fill this manually for now. A couple more times. It's alright. I just need to place some turrets here because I'm imagining that I'm going to start being attacked from the right. Yes, I am. I am indeed. So let's place some turrets there. I guess let's do two above and two below. thing how quick and how much actually do I need what I want is to build the wall 
Uh, I just need a big conveyor belt. Just a big conveyor belt. Around the things that I have so far. Can I afford a couple more miners? Do one more. It's weird. Why are not my all of my furnaces working? Because I have eight miners and I have fifteen. This recipe is still the same. Okay, so let's say, for example, that this bottom is to be defended fully. Automatically. Okay. Okay. Then we do this. I just uh, I'm going to be <clears throat> turning this around a little later I don't think I can afford to harvest more iron for now I'll need to take the stone to start producing the walls Thank you. 
Everything is just going towards the ammo. Alright. Evolution 6%. Okay, so from the bottom, let's say that we are defended, kind of. Kind of defended, eventually. This is hopefully going to be filling up. Right? Uh, I want this to be a chest for now, yeah. Okay, let's connect. More iron. Um, I cannot do it like that. Oh shit, this is bad. Did I run out of ammo? Hold on, or is it was it a big group here? What happened? No way I ran out of ammo. Alright, well, in that case, so that this does not happen again, let me start, though, uh, to do the, the science. I want, I think, the logistics. Actually, I mean, no, I don't really need the logistics. I don't really need the logistics. I can just curve my belt instead. Alright, well, let's connect this, though. For the fully automatic protection, like this. Going to give these guys the ammo. Is my ammo coming? Um, okay, let's speed this up. This one is turning towards the enemies, even though it has no ammo. It's trying to look at them. Mm -hmm. okay. Actually, should not have connected this. Let me take at least four of these guys. That I can have a little bit to myself. using the ammo faster that I'm producing it, right? Uh, actually, no. I'm only using 5 per minute. Just very slow. To fill the belt. Anyway, this is going to be kind of automatic here. Eventually, right? And I'm going to have even more turrets here.
is actually going that way now so hopefully we're actually getting filled soon maybe let me do another one of miners let's refill the boilers The ammo is coming to the bottom part. That's great. That's great. Another drill. Go this way. They still killed the turret there. So it just means that the, uh, the attack group from here decides to come that way. And I don't have enough turrets. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. I just need... I just need the walls now. Need the walls, so... And... 20, I need 80. No, I need I need 40 for the walls. Okay, and for the walls, I will need to have some turrets there. Uh, this is not going to be connected with the belt. I'm just going to put a chest of ammo there and uh, do it that way, I guess. That's a big attack group. It's coming after me. Okay. That was a little scary. Ammo belt is filling up. That's nice to see. <clears throat> oh, 
power is good. Stone. Um. Stone, stone, stone. Let's... Maybe... Let's maybe uh, connect this one. Also using a belt instead. So this belt is going to go up. This belt is going down and this is going up. Because I don't have the splitters yet anyway. Maybe I will do it with just a conveyor belt over there, then. Go straight up here. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three. Three, four. Now I don't have any ammo for myself in case something happens. Uh, which is fine probably. I would like to have more eyes around, more raiders, but should I? No, I'll do it later. So I want to know where they're attacking me from. Belt is is getting full. Indeed, very nice. All right. Let's see how long is this now. Maybe even be long enough. I think this is long enough. Okay. Um. So. Once I have the ammo here, I guess I start mining this stone. Do we get any stone walls? This is not going to happen very soon, though. I just need more iron. <clears throat> No iron will mean that I will be um, attacked more though. So not doing it yet. Okay, I'll need an electric mining drill. If I start with one, that's not going to be very good, right? I need to start with like four mining drills, I think. Uh, for the walls. And also... I need more science.
Once I have the walls, I can afford bigger attack groups, I guess. And I will be expanding my iron. Okay. I guess I have enough science to... Research the stone walls. The next thing that I would want to research is what? Actually, nothing. Uh, I would like logistics, but I can work without it. It's it's eighty, which is uh three hundred and twenty iron. I can do without it for now. Um, stone wall is finished. Great. Is my ammo coming this way? It's coming very slowly. I have two bullets there. All right. So I will not place the uh, the turrets there yet. I will wait a little more. I can speed this up. I can speed this up. I can maybe take this. I have two furnaces just for myself. Only two furnaces just for myself. <clears throat> this belt is feeling. some ammo here all right nice so here's what i'm going to do here's what i'm going to do i'm going to do one two three four one two three one two three Okay, for now, I'll just put this in a chest. No, 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 no. Hold on. This is not good. This is not good. Am I just too close to the nest here? I'm just aggroing... ...the biters from the nest itself here, right? I don't want to do that. This one as are coming towards somewhere making the attack group. 
That's fine. Okay. My stone apparently is too close. The enemies. Yo, King, hello. What the fuck is 600%? It's 600% biters. Biter nests. The settings aren't 600%. When you set up your world. Rip. Ah, uh, it's easy. I'm surviving here, see? Okay. I think I might be smelting the stone myself uh, for a little bit. For those walls, maybe. Unless I bring it down here because I don't want to do it there. I'll need an assembly machine for the walls. It's always a race, flame turrets before small biter evolution or GG. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, I mean not before we can deal with medium biters. Oh, using just the turrets. Before the big biters, is good to have the uh, flamethrowers, right? I have one piece of oil over here, which is close to the biter nest. And then another one is inside. Okay, give me one second. Lamau, 100%, you can't even get robots with that? What do you mean? You can't even get robots with that. I'm not getting the achievements here. Uh, I mean, I might get the other achievements that I did not get on my... Oh, you mean... <laughs> you, mean you mean the oil? Yeah. The oil, yeah. 130%. It's more than 100, okay? <laughs> There's uh, There is more inside this over here. There's more inside over there. And maybe somewhere else. Alright. Who needs bots? Anyway. It's going to be no bots for like 200 hours here anyway. Uh, but yeah, we need to rush the flamethrowers. That's for sure. Okay, let me get this in easily. Oh, but yeah, this oil is not going towards the bots. The oil is going towards the flamethrowers. That's it. The flamethrowers.
This belt is full. Seven stream streak? Does this mean that I did Factorio for seven days now? you yeah I mean yeah I never streamed Factorio before okay I do not have uh, the logistics yet So I'm bringing stone to the base, and I'm going to be smelting it here. Which... Uh, basically means that... I'm going to take... Uh, this one over here. They're destroying my trees. I mean... I can also just put the... The thing here manually for now actually, right? It's probably even better than automating the coal. I just automate the call for this for the iron. That's good enough. <clears throat> okay. Uh but I will need more inserters. So over here, I will be producing the walls. That's not the walls. This is the walls. Okay, this is actually more than I need. I only have two things there. I cannot even do the four furnaces here technically. Right? Okay, the walls are going to start coming. This is great. The next thing would be to make more iron. I guess. Should probably start automating the research now. But that I will do using a separate iron mine. Okay, let me see. This is going to be four man's splitter. And to redo my thing here, I will make it go around the iron. 
<clears throat> once I have enough. Please don't zoom in and out like this. What do you mean? Am I zooming in and out very, very often? They just never use the zoom key and bind it. What's the good zoom to be playing with? I don't know. I like zooming. It will be hard for me to try and not to zoom. I'll first feel this, and then I will replace the uh, turrets. I was zooming in and out every second. I'm sorry. Um... I have 36 walls, this is good. I'll start making walls whenever something bad happens, I guess, in critical places. I would assume that this is going to be the one. I do the protection first, then I place the miners. Okay. I guess technically... Technically... Just do this now. Two slash time. Uh, it's one hour and thirty minutes. We're on track like a pro, basically, here.
Give me a second. I need to buy some break. Sorry, it's going to be a bunch of breaks, I guess, because I'm I'm sick today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first couple of walls, I am guessing, I will be placing here. Now I can start expanding my... Uh, the only thing is, over here I'm not automatically defended, but this is further from the biters than the other places. Looks like eventually I will be able to just put some turrets here, here, and here. Because of the, the water that I have here. It's quite nice. Although, I don't really want to touch these biters for a little while. Hmm. We'll see. Uh, we'll see, but one of the first things that I can do... I'm wondering if it's worth it, though, to destroy this nest. Now I finally have enough. I have some worms left. Hopefully this was worth it. 
I used a little bit of iron to do that. Um... The reason it might have not been worth it because uh, when they were going to do the attack group, they were coming from this place to somewhere else and I was just like killing them off one by one, slowly. And now it's going to be big attack groups instead. So I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay. So now we do the proper iron. Fine. Okay, let me see. What would I want to be researching first? Um, so our goal is obviously to get the flamethrower, but that's a lot, right? Um, that's kind of a lot. Before we can do that, I will need to do some physical projectile damage upgrades, probably. I'm pretty sure I will not be doing the um, the heavy bullets because I'm the, on the marathon. They are too expensive. So I will just uh, have to research the projectile damage. Instead. Maybe with military too, I can try pushing. I never tried grenades with my normal run. If I just do grenades, can I push a nest? So I need to push this a little bit to get this uh, oil eventually, right? Anyway, the earlier I do it, the easier it is going to be. Monk Nomad. Hello there, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Definitely should push armor piercing. Armor piercing? Rounds? This is marathon. Is um, So the reason is... Uh, let me just show you here, I guess. So the recipe is going to be for the piercing rounds. It's still the same, right? Five copper, one steel, one firearm magazine. But if you look at the steel, if you look at the steel, it takes 10, 10 iron plates instead of five iron plates. So 
it will make me use a lot of iron compared to like and like the iron per damage is much lower is much higher basically even if i do the iron fishing so instead i can double up on my turrets for example should be more worth it Armor piercing is cheaper to kill biter with in the regular death world. I'm pretty sure it is. But the arm power damage is better on army on armor biters. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just saying it's not a priority and I will have to do it once I have like the big buyers the bigger priorities to me is to get the oil and to start the flamethrower once I have the flamethrower it's going to be okay Yeah, like, I cannot, I do not have a, a lot of iron. My, here's my second iron patch, which is, like, pretty low. So, like, before I I can afford using a lot of iron, I need to, like, take a big iron patch to myself. And I, I'm, I'm not even, rem I don't even remember the preview. Where is my next iron patch? It's pretty far, I'm pretty sure. But once we get the flamethrowers, it's not going to matter too much. Add raiders, yeah. Uh, yeah, I wanted to do that. Now I can actually afford to do it. You're right. I'll put them in the corners. My small base for now. So I have a raider here. Morning, how's my run going? We started a new run, in case you can tell. I decided to not go for the 100% achievements on the death world. I mean, I beat it the uh, no spoon, right? So I beat it the game in 8 hours on the regular death world with lazy bastard. But before I I, I thought I thought I need a, a little bit of a bigger challenge. So so we start this instead. The rocket has been launched though in the death world.
Okay. The raiders are working. Okay. Good. The 20 million green chips would just be a grind. You would just have to mega base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this is Death World Marathon, so everything is going to be. Uh, everything is going to be more expensive. So building a mega base on the marathon is going to be fun, right? More fun than on the regular one. <clears throat> A whole lot of red on the map. It is. It's six hundred percent biter nests. That's what the six hundred in the title is for. Research. Research can start happening. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit from here. In the beginning, after a while, butters will just be annoying shits. Well, you can say that they are annoying shits in the beginning too. Mm. Okay, the gear. going to be here I have the science Okay, logistics, and then I start going towards the the things. So like, the only question that I have right now, do I do the physical projectile damage before I get the oil? I probably will. Have to do that, yes. So I will do this and then physical projectile damage. That's our that's my first things to do.
No, it's not worth it. Why not? I will... They, they will be evolved by a lot. I'm, I'm pretty sure we will have big biters at the... At the time we have the... Uh, the flamethrower. I have my... I need to have my damage. I'm pretty sure. It's going to save me on iron too. Like, just to research the flame uh, thrower, right? I need how many? 200, 200, 400, 1000. Like, something about 2000 signs and uh, one, one piece of red signs is four. So it's like 8000. And then, like, green is going to be this and that. Which is uh, another 12, 16, like 30,000 iron is required to get to the flamethrower. I did not even count the uh, military science that I need to do that, but military science I guess is not that much. Something about 35,000 iron is going to go towards the science to get the flamethrowers, which is going to take a while. Pretty sure that I need the the damage upgrade. I'll do one more science lab. It's not the speed of science that I'm worried about. I mean, I will do more eventually. This group. to the walls. This will have to be automated soon, too. But the south wall is complete. That's nice. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let me see. What's the next thing? Um, I have a bunch of iron. Let me do the transport belts. I need to refill my boilers. And I will start refilling them automatically very soon. This belt is almost full. Let me pick this up so it continues to be working. This assembler. Uh, or... I could actually do it like this instead then. All right. Let's do another lab. Boilers. Have the logistics soon. I uh, can do more steam engines now, I guess. Furnaces, for sure. For sure, need more furnaces. <clears throat> but unfortunately, I cannot. If I bring the turrets a little closer, then they will, we will start having infinite attacks here. But unless I clear a little bit of this. I can put one more over here. I'm going to put the uh, stuff in the chest. Just need. One more miner. I do even more labs because I can.
All right. The logistics is going to be researched now. Uh, okay, good. Good. Um, since I have more labs now. Let me do this. Let's do the copper in this chest. Even though I still can just hand feed it. <clears throat> All right. Military is going to be researched. Then we take the military upgrade. This is 400, which is a lot. But I think it's worth it to go for this immediately. All right. Let's start doing some undergrounds, some splitters. <coughs> this is gonna yeah, for just one splitter. Oh shit! This is so expensive here. Okay, military is researched. Um, can I use the shotgun for anything here? I don't. I think it's like if I try to kill the nest with a shotgun, I will still need to use more iron than if I just turret creep. Okay, uh, but I will try with grenades. So military too. After this is researched. Um, so for now, let me just prepare my my stuff. Let me take this half. For some reason, we have stuff on both sides of the belt here. I only want one side. All right, that's a ammo on me. Sure. Let's see. This is really big. The evolution is right now at 13%. Okay. I think before going for more science, what I want to do is uh, I want to fully automate my my ammo, my wall, right? So I will 
make it go around the base. Make a big transport belt going around the base now. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Get some copper. I'll start automating the production of the conveyor belts. Here, conveyor belt. All right, nice. Conveyor belts automated. Okay, let's see. What am I going for here? I want to take a big part of my base. We have a forest here, which I probably don't want to destroy yet. It's going to help me. Um. So, I'm actually wondering, over here I can make a protection, over here might be a little too close, but I can take a big part of this anyway. How big do I want to go here in the beginning? Also... I mean, technically, if I have this ammo... Hold on. I have a lot of ammo right now. One of the things that I can do is... Uh, I can just kill these nests, I think. This is smaller than the other nests. Because... Because there's forest here. So can I do it? If I can, I think it's worth it. Just going directly there. We are good on ammo, good on everything. Yeah, because like if I kill this, then I can expand left. I take this iron to me immediately. Wait for the research to complete before pushing. So that I use less iron on it. Uh, okay. I guess I will not even have the speeders yet, because I'm only at 13% right now, so yeah, probably worth it. Just saving a little bit of iron this way, right? Sure. Sure. Um, I can do more researches, so that it's happening faster. Um, not even this. I wanted that. Um, this was not connected. Lol.
Let me just put this here for now. I'll be moving things. If I will be able to clear these, then I should be setting up my defenses. Um, Alright, this forest is great, but... I don't know, where is my defenses going to be? I would like to put them here, I think. Here, 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 here. So I think I can kill this stuff and this stuff. Also, another uh, thing is maybe. Uh, maybe I do the logistic and military too. To uh, run and kill them with the grenades, I just uh, I just want to do it before they, we have um, like the mediums, probably. Wait, where is the speeder? When do the speeders start appearing? At fifteen percent or at twenty-five? The medium biters are at twenty-five, right? Big biters are at fifty percent. And speeders are before or after the medium biters, I don't remember. But other than just me, maybe the iron that I'm going to use in in the form of uh, of bullets to clear this nest is going to still be worth it because these are the ones that are actually attacking me constantly. All right, I need more copper for my research, by the way. The chest is empty. The 
chest is empty, but at the same time, I can also... I can also make it go there... Automatically, so that I can stop thinking about it. Okay, well, this works. This works. Nice. Um, nice. More miners, probably. Is what I want now. Uh, let's do... things here Walls, all right, fifty percent. We're doing good, doing good on the research. Uh, let me improve the copper here. I want more. more copper. More conveyor for more miners on the copper. I mean, I just need four for now. Okay. Now I can improve the iron. I probably need, by the way, now that I'm doing this, I'm just realizing that I will need more uh, firearms. I'm using 50 per minute and I'm producing 47 per minute. I need more ammo. I need a lot more ammo. <clears throat> Over here, I'm going to have two more. 
ammo things. Great. Uh, let me put uh, the splitter here now. So that I'm filling that belt using both chests. Sixty six percent on the research. This is okay. Is this the expansion? Alright, let me at least try and stop the expansions from happening. Probably make myself a submachine gun. Oh wait, no, this is just the attack group, right? Yeah, this is just the attack group. Seventy-three percent on the research. All right. What's the next thing? Should maybe let's put more into the ammo and less into the conveyor belts. <clears throat> Fifteen percent. Fifteen percent is the small speeders, maybe. Submachine gun, sure, let's get it. Let's get it. What's our power situation? Power is good. Let me just finish it because I can. Just need two more steam engines. Okay, this is bad over here. Why did they go this way? I don't know. I mean, it's not too bad, but they decided to go this way, which is unprotected. Let me put more walls here and more turrets. Wait, what? Okay, I guess that also needs more walls.
We just need the walls here, right? Just in case, let's still do even more turrets. I guess now we are being attacked from this direction. Okay. Uh, I need more coal now. I see. Need more coal. Okay, physical project style damage is almost done. <clears throat> I mean, technically, I don't need to kill them all, right? I just need uh, to push them a little bit from my oil that I will eventually get. Okay. I take a look at 10 minutes. I'm using 25 per minute, producing 50 per minute of ammo. Physical project damage is done. Alright, now we go towards the green science. I don't need to weapon shooting speed, do I? No, I don't. I don't think. Logistic science. Is the next thing to go for. Alright. Let's see how well I'm going to do here. I should probably not go in front of the turrets, you know. Fish. Or I could fish. I'm too lazy for the fish. Okay, let's see. This is good. This is good. Um, these guys...
I can kill them off right now too, I guess, just because I can. Wait, since I reloaded, did I put my... Yeah, I did. The coal miner. Okay. So I used like what? About 400, 350 ammo. 400 ammo, I think, is what I used. I'm pretty sure I have enough ammo to kill off the rest. Okay, uh, what's my... 18% is my evolution. And still no speeders, so speeders come at 25 then. Okay. I guess together with the medium biters. And one HP, but it's okay. I don't need any more. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm good. I have my territory. I just need to set up the defenses. Push the existing ones a little bit. I want to push these guys. I want to push these guys so that it's easier to do the defenses, maybe. Uh, but that's not a priority. Let me work on science.
science and then I rush as fast as I can towards the flamethrowers. Alright, big chilling. I think I just want today to get to the flamethrowers. Should be doable in a couple more hours. And flamethrowers basically means that we won the game. Right, my research is going. Do I kill these guys just because I can? Is it worth it to kill guys because I can? If I kill them, I might push the evolution to like medium biters. What's my evolution stuff here? Spawner kills is actually 27%. So like these many spawners increase my evolution by a lot. 27%. Biggest factor is still the time, though. Whatever, I don't need to kill them. I'll be able to do it later. So now that I have this science uh, research, I need to start doing that science. I will need to uh, still processing though anyway, right? Anything else? Military 2. So military 2 or the flamethrower? Flamethrower will require military 2 anyway. Okay. Uh, and electronics are the remaining red sciences. doing here pretty good all right okay the next thing that I'm going to do is uh automating the green science so i need transfer belt and inserters yeah so i need to do the green chips the green chips setup so how do you do the green chips setup in the marathon because this requires two iron plates and eight copper cables which is twice as much which is more than twice as much copper cable Hmm. So I do two copper cables per half a second, so I need four. I need four copper cable machines per one electronic circuit machine. Okay, I need to start cra just crafting my machines right now. Assemblers. I have inserters. Okay, assemblers are here. And let's see. Let's see. I will move this thing a little bit. Uh, before I move it. Before I move it. Move my conveyor belt with ammo. 
So this is my territory for building. Be good for a while. Probably not making enough ammo for this. I can put the ammo out of this chest onto a conveyor belt. Make sure we we use these assemblers too. All right. So then I'll just be continuing this wall up. All right. To do more, I need more uh, inserters. I think I'll just finish this uh, <clears throat> up to over here. This will give me the space that I move the signs. The processing is just because it's really fast used, I see. Okay. Okay, the fences should be good for now. As soon as the steel processing is done here, I will move my science a little bit.
Okay. Let's see. Um, how much of that size do I need? This should be good enough. There's two more than I had before. Alright. So my science labs are going to be somewhere around here. Continue this. Maybe do this steel axe because I'm like rebuilding sometimes. I think it's okay if I just do this. I think it should be okay. Alright, and then we work on the green signs. I didn't even revert the order here. Okay, um, I can do more iron, probably. Probably. I can also close this off. Like I said, I just want to push these guys a little bit. How hard will it be for me to push them a little bit? So that they don't attack my stone mine here. What's my evolution? 20%. We have... Oh, 20% medium biters start spawning. Okay. And when 25 is the speeders. Okay, medium biters. I don't see them uh, yet. But we're just going to get them soon. Okay. I killed it. We killed each other. Okay, there you go. Ten, uh, ten free ammo. Amazing. Okay. 
I need to put the coal over here. I think I need to start to do a better... A better furnace area too. A better furnace area too. So, let's just, let's just make the full one. Let's make some furnaces. Two stacks of furnaces. Okay. Go do it inside this. I just don't, don't want to cut down the forest. Not yet. It it helps me, right? I wonder how much does the forest actually help, though. Uh, but at the same time, I can also move my defenses down. I guess I can start building down here. This area is free. I just set up my defenses correctly here. I don't even need a lot of turrets. But the belt is going to be so big that it's going to be... Yeah, I don't think it's worth it just because of the length of the belt. Yet. Okay. Let me think about the green signs. So, I will have... To do let me just do the chips somewhere let me do it some weird way for now this is going to be that stuff is going to require a lot of Uh, okay. Uh, so this is just enough for like doing one, right? But e even although it's enough to do just do one, I can do two anyway. I can delete some of these trees, which are dead now. Okay, and then I do another smeltery and put the things there. Okay. Um, let me do a splitter to chest some of the coal that I'm making. I need to. Let's do a chest of coal over here. This is electronic circuits. Electronic circuits. I will need to bring the iron there. Okay, I do need more iron. I think I move this wall. Sure. Just do it below the iron patch. Okay. So in order for me to do that... 
We have some undergrounds. Two undergrounds should be enough. So I will just... Move my defenses this way. I mean, this is too big. Hold on. I cannot do the very big belt yet. I'm pretty sure I need to be harvesting more iron to be able to do that. So I'm just going to move that a little bit like this. So now, this is going to start to be filling. Let me actually do the circular belt. So this belt is just going to start going the opposite direction now. Okay, still X is done. That's good. I like having still X. Okay, we just make it uh, go here and we prioritize the input on the left. So we prioritize the new ammo over the old ammo. Okay, and we have... Uh we have it on the right side. Okay. All right. Good. Now I can make the wall down here. That close. Oh, I need a wall though. I need a wall. I need inserters. Ok, 
Okay, the iron patch is slowly being used up. Heavy armor. I do not have my green science set up yet. So I can research something else. Lights. So we can have a nicer base. Heavy armor, for sure. Hold on, this side is standing. Oh, I see why. Okay, sure. Okay, we're putting everything on the right side. I like that. Just need to make sure that uh, while I'm doing this, I'm not being attacked. I have ammo in my inventory, so I should be fine. Okay. There you go. Uh, being attacked from the left. Something that can happen, but... I mean, I guess I will... I will do the wall right now. On the left side. Because otherwise this is going to be undefended. I can chain them. The turrets? I know. But the belt is still needed, because the chaining is going to be so slow. Wait, so like, instead of a belt, my... Ass no, no, no. What if, they, what if they kill one of the turrets, then the other ones are going to run out of ammo? That's not a good idea. Belt is much better. I can chain them to like, double up, so that I have a, a double wall of turrets. That's true. That will be like necessary, I think, at some point. Nope. Nope. What? Will not be necessary. If you get bots and flamer, you don't have to. Well, yeah, I'm also... I, I I am not, like, going to build the dragon teeth, for example. Because I'm, I don't like them, alright? Just because of that. I might need to do more turrets, for example. I need a mage for them. What is a mage? <sighs> Maze? Yeah, I don't want to do maze. That's cheating.
Okay, I have my wool. So I will do another uh, uh, smeltery here. There's still one part of the base that's undefended. Top left. Except for the very corner. Over here. I don't have a lot of defenses. Okay, let me do the, uh, the smeltery first. Introducing Plinko Wall. I, I did see it. It's where... Is it where the, the flame turret goes into a hole... This is the best wall design. Alright, let me show you guys. Yeah, this thing. And then you have the flame, uh, the regular turrets just in case, right? Or what is it? It's That's the laser turrets, right? Yeah, yeah, that's cheating. I don't want to do that. We fight the... Uh, we fight the biters properly. Oh no, hold on. I just said that I don't have defenses here. And here they come. And here they come. Alright. Which means that I probably need to set up the defenses here. <laughs> uh... Alright. Uh, do I do this right now? I probably do it right now. They start coming from the left more and more. I probably do it right now. Okay. I'm just going to make this wall go vertically forward. Like that. So like this is what I'm doing. One, two, three, four, five. Is this too close? I hope it's not too close. No, it is too close. This is too close. When the biters are being attacked over here, they come from the from the base itself. Uh, can I just push it forward? Because I need my stone. No, they just come. Don't come for me. All right. So this is going to be the same then. I'll fix it later. go this way instead.
<laughs> All right. The wall is done. Now we can finally do the smelting. Um, let's research something red. Because I can. The weapon shooting speed, probably. Okay, now I do the smeltery. The smeltery. Uh, okay. Cool. Let's uh, make it go up to the, this place. This is 15. And this is 27. I need 24. And 24. This is going to be iron. I do the full belt here. Okay. First things first, though. I'm gonna start crafting the... The miners. My first miners are going to go here. Let's just... Let's just connect to the... To the top here, so that I can start and crafting things. Um, this is the old ammo belt, which I don't need anymore. Uh, what I want to do instead, do a splitter. For my coal. My coal is going to go down this way. Uh, not this way, hold on. Let me split it over here. Right. Okay, I'd say that this is coal, this is iron. Okay, it's going to start working slowly. I can replace my readers in the corners now so that I can do it better, I guess. See more. Uh, where is my current traders? I don't even see them. We are doing good. Very good.
I just increase the iron as much as I can. Uh, I need to watch my power though. I can do one more steam engine. I'll do that in a bit. We still don't have the spears. We will start having soon. Okay. Looks like I will need more of coal there to do the smelting. Uh, I need more coal for the power too. Let me put it on the f power first. This is the power coal. So I think Oh I mean my, my power is going to be produced more in a second once my coal is there. I'll put priority to the right. So that I don't put in the chest if I don't have it in my power. Okay, let's do let's do this. Copper does not have the power either. This gives the copper some power. One more steam engine. Two more miners. Okay, then I can start doing the inserters. To take the um, the iron out of here, okay, and then I will have. Uh, all right, this is far away. This is far away. I can actually like start moving everything so that I don't do this belt on top of the thing. Right, I can do another smeltery of copper, for example immediately let's say that over here we're going to have the iron and this is going to be copper it's going to be copper i mean this way like that i don't need a lot of copper yet but i can start moving things here properly And then I'll do over here the science area then. Okay, I will not 
get rid of this yet. I just need my... My copper to be coming. Do it like this for now. This is going to be the copper line. So I can split my coal. And split my coal. Make it go with the copper over here. This is going to be copper. This is iron. Okay. Now when I have this... What's my power? Power is okay. They're almost breaking the wall here. And although I have double turrets, why they are they're just really coming for the boilers. I guess. Copper was not connected. Connect the steam engine. Ah. Weapon shooting speed. All right. Research is happening. Uh, but I will redo the research over here. This thing that I was setting up. I'll make it in a different place. to continue working okay so let's say uh, that we uh, need this stuff this stuff is needed so this is where the copper is going to go and then and then the iron is going to come on top. Um, I can do the long inserters, a couple of those. We're putting them out. Okay, this is going to be the green chips. More iron is going to be converted into more gears. Okay. 
let's start connecting that stuff. All right. Uh, now I will have uh, the gears, and I will have these things, and I have the iron coming this way. I'll have my. I need more assemblers for things. Uh, okay. Let me see. More of that copper. <clears throat> Actually, let's do it. And then it eventually will become the mole instead, right? But right now, I just need it to be producing the signs for me. Mm. Have long inserters, yes. I need more long inserters. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, on the left side is going to be the uh, the red signs. I'm moving it here. Uh, I'm just going to move it. Maybe I don't need to move it, actually. It's fine over there. For now. Okay, and then we have uh, inserters and we have conveyors. They're going to be constructed here. They're going to be put together on a belt. This is going to be the green signs. This will just be working eventually. I guess I don't need this long of a belt here. If this is just for the green signs for now. Hmm. Alright. So now I just connect these signs to my labs. Um, yeah. I don't want to tear this down for now. This is my ammo and turrets. Oh, we're doing production of the ammo. 56. And using 33. Alright. I'll need to make more ammo soon, too. But the green signs, I want to connect it now. Spaghetti, here we go. It's bad. Nice. Weapon shooting speed is just researched.
Very good. Is this the run? I did the run uh, yesterday. This is the new run where I'm doing a different challenge. People are like, hello. Look at this. Look at this. Red is good. You, you said it yourself, right? There you go. Now this is what we have right directly next to our base. This is a different run where I'm doing this a lot more enemies. See? See how much red we have on the map? Everything is red, basically. So I need to do defenses. A lot of those. Yeah. Alright, the green science is going. So I can start. Now the question is... Weapon, uh, projectile damage first, or the oil? Oil will probably require less than 800 in total. It is, uh, no, it is a little more than 800, and then I will need the flammables and this. This twice as much as the physical projectile damage. And I still will need to set up the military science. Um, so I think that as early, if I do this as early as possible, it's better to do the weapon shooting speed than, uh, no, not the shooting speed shot, uh, the physical projectile damage. Shooting speed is not needed. Yeah, I'm going to get wrecked? No, I'm not. I'm professional. I'm not going to get wrecked. I know how to play the game. Okay, let's make sure that this stuff has the, the automatic pull, what else, what else is not automated, the call for the stone is not automated, and the call for these furnaces, the, for these furnaces actually is automated, okay. So then I just do for the stone. So that I don't need to think about it anymore. Um Okay, sure, whatever. Sure, whatever. This is what I do. <clears throat> All right. These are all working. No, they are not all working. Because I did not connect them all. Someone was being attacked in this corner. We did not take any damage. Nice. <clears throat> Alright. So now I just need more copper. Go this way. Let's do more copper. How much more copper do I need? No.
Okay. How about more iron? I don't know if I need it. Probably not. Uh, Alright, this little piece of oil is what's going to save me. <clears throat> we have more oil here, we have more oil over here, we have more iron here, more iron here, more copper here, the copper is over here, nice, more oil, coal, stone, uranium, can I do uranium power? As soon as I can. Is it worth it? I don't know. Uranium bullets. Probably not going to be needed for a long time anyway. Okay, I will start doing the double wall soon too. <clears throat> Can you join? I think I enjoy the single player, unfortunately, more. I'm sorry. Okay, where is uh what do I need? Okay. This is starting to pile up. I'm actually wondering. Are they all working here? They're not all working here. Because this is kind of slow a little bit. Uh I'd research the fast inserter here really quickly. Just to be uh, making them. And also... What I want to do is... Uh, to do more labs, probably. I think I actually want to do more labs. I need more iron just for myself here. Uh, this is how many labs? This is 10, right? Okay. I don't know, multiplayer Factorio is like... I mean, it's like a different thing, no? Not really, I guess, but... Maybe once I beat it, in order for us to do the Mega Base... You like doing the mega base, right? I 
I think this iron, I'm going to take it and I'm going to make this to be the steel. This is how many? 13? Okay, so there's going to be exactly half a belt here. Once I connect this and one more. Yes, Pigorly. What do you mean, yes? You like to build the mega bases? You want to join? No, no, no. I, I, I don't want to let Pigorly in my game. Pigorly will probably destroy some of these walls and let the biters in my base. Not a good idea. Okay, fast inserters, couple of those. Um, over here, I want this inserter to be fast. Okay, this will make all of my green size to work. Next, I make more science machines. This is still not closed. This is the only not closed area, actually. Um, and over here... I can't close it properly. Because this is too close. Who doesn't trust the Pigorly? Well, I trust the Pigorly to do all the bad things. <laughs> my base no oh, shit okay I am out of coal here okay you see it one two three four five sure let's increase our power. I mean, power is technically enough. It's just like I'm running out of coal there, is the problem. Let's make more coal miners. And then I will also make more steam engines. Mm 
Here they come. I do see some speeders now. Our evolution is at 26%. 8% small speeders. Hmm. Alright, our power should stabilize here. Um, I will do just more immediately though anyway. Of the coal here. Okay. The labs. Power. I mean, hold on. All of them are working. Almost. Not always all of them are working. Yeah. When they are all working, we are good. I need more steam engines. One more. We are using forty two bullets per minute and producing fifty four. The next thing would be to move the half of a belt here, probably towards the ammo Okay, great, great, steam engine, go here, hmm, all right, now let's work on more labs, more, more labs. Okay, the speeders are bad because they are the ones who are actually dealing damage to my turrets. Alright. It's okay though, we are researching projectile damage and then after that... I am going to get the oil and start the flamethrowers. I think we are going to be fine.
Okay, let me take the bathroom break while I'm crafting things. Okay, the labs are there. Uh, I wanted to have the splitter here. So I want to do another line of iron. Right? Another line of iron. Let's connect the science first. <clears throat> okay, so I need uh, three more, and that's going to be 20 labs. That should be good for now. 20 labs. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to just be smelting more iron and I will send half of it. I will send half of it to just be constructing the, the bullets. So from here, I'm going to steal right now, actually. This is going to be the bullet. area my belt is actually going empty hold on see my belt here oh wait hold on it's just like full on some places but not everywhere i see it's okay um, I'll need to fill the both sides at some point soon. Because, like, it just takes a lot of bullets off of it when we're actually getting attacked. My turrets might die because we only store 10 in the inside of them. And inserters are not putting them fast enough. Uh, and the belt might be empty tomb
Twenty lamps done. All right. Assemblers. This is just for the ammo. Fast inserter is actually cheaper, in terms of iron at least, than two regular inserters here. At least. Goes the factoring, pretty good, pretty good. I beated the game in uh, in the regular Death World. In case you know don't know what it is, Death World is when there's a lot of enemies like this. And now I started a new run where there is six times more enemies than usually, basically. So for that reason, everything is red over here, basically, as you can see. So, and also on top of that, we are doing a marathon run, which means that all of the uh, recipes and technologies are more expensive. So yeah, regular Death World was too easy. So we're doing, we are increasing the difficulty here. You're really enjoying the challenge. How would I not enjoy the challenge? What else is there to enjoy? Yeah, look at this. This is the this is the enemies coming. And there is a lot of corpses around my walls now. Can I reuse the corpses? I don't know, maybe with mods? Not in the regular game though. Input priority? Left. And then... And then if there is too much, then I will put it on the other side. There you go. This is how we feel the, f the first half. Oh wait, output priority also to the right. So then if we have too much, then it will go on the other half of the belt. Right? Is four of these enough? Probably not. Probably not. Let me move this, actually. So that I can do four more. And all the bullets. Put 
do it like this. Um, I mean, I was going to have the uh, smeltery here. Uh, whatever. Maybe I'll move it later. Maybe I won't. It's okay. I just want to make sure that I have enough bullets, you know. There you go. <clears throat> the bullets should be good now. Yeah, I almost have a full belt here. Nice. Uh, projectile damage is going to be researched, so I'm going to be better on the defenses there. And then next thing would be to continue the research now towards the flamethrower before the flamethrower i need engine i need logistics no not logistics hold on we're not getting on track like a pro right fluid handling this thing yeah we need automation too fluid handling oil processing flammables and then for the flamethrower the other thing that i will need is the military 2 and military science so actually let's start with military 2 then and then do the other things do the other things um might even let me just do this one by one depends on what i have uh, i might be working on the military science i mean i will need to work on the military science anyway at some point okay um, since I have a lot of ammo now, since I have a lot of ammo, let me see. In the last minute, I have produced 120 per minute of ammo, and I'm using 42. So I'm producing three times more than I'm using now. Okay. Uh, I have a little bit more iron here that I can take. Probably start taking all of my iron here. Eventually, I cannot add more miners and we will have to do another miner. Uh, on the next patch. So, I'm wondering if I should, like, start making the... This is big. Let's see. I have just uh, had my second. Are resources limited in Factorio? Well, I mean, technically the map is not infinite here, but it's very big. So it, it's, it's similar to infinite. May need to do the grenades now, but uh, it will take me so long to like... I mean, I can... A, I can like see them piling up, right? Military two. I just I am just researching it. I don't even have the grenades yet, so I need I will start making grenades. I can do the brick maybe. Uh, then. I can also just uh, increase the number of turrets here like I did in the other corner. So I can do like this. You know? This will improve the situation. 
Grenades is good, but it means that I need to constantly watch for them. Right? So I need to put more raiders in all the corners. Is another thing that I should be doing. Start doing the grenades. Any more iron. But yeah, there is going to be a lot more speeders now, right? We are still not full speeders. We are only 32%, 33% small speeder, right? doing more iron like over here they're not really breaking much stuff because I have a bunch of turrets here, right? <coughs> ah, I'm sorry. repair packs first Like I was saying, is something that I need. I also, I think, will need to put my things in a chest here actually and to create a buffer just make it a little more to the right here I'm going to have a buffer of bullets over here priority left, outward priority right. Um, outward priority is not necessary here anymore. 
We just have the full belt. Yeah, the right side is already full, right? And this side is also piling up. I'm about to have the full belt, it seems. Wait, hold on. Why is this standing still? Ah, uh, I see it. I'm actually not doing the both sides here. So that's me. That's like because of the old belt. That was going here. Okay. Nice. Nice. Grenades, you say. Grenades. How much grenades do I actually need, though? This is the question. Can I just do a couple? Like I did in the regular Death World. This was enough. This was much more than enough. If I do the grenades like this. We are going to slowly uh, fill. Need to do more. I made all the science labs and they are not even working. Uh, the raiders, now that I remember. Not making enough science because... Oh, it's just because my iron is not coming this way anymore. I see. Because I'm I'm putting much less iron this way now. That I sp I'm spending half on the... Uh, on the bullets, which is fine. I need my bullets. But I guess I can connect this now. Connect more miners here. Um, the raiders are being produced. I do one here. I just make more turrets in this area, I guess. Uh, making the double wall, if I have enough. Sounds like a good idea too. I'm the uh, raider in this corner. Okay, so I see now the attacks being prepared. I see this attack being prepared, right? Let me see. There should be a couple grenades now, right? Let me see how much I can I help. Second wall with gaps. Eh, I'm too lazy for that. It's okay, I'm almost at the flamethrower. Why did I get all this coal? I don't know. Let's see. This is grenades. They are going to come here for an attack. I want to see how well am I going to do. Did I research bomb jack yet? No, 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 I did not. I just started doing, going towards... I do have the second tier physical damage, though. That's what I prioritized. I have physical projectile damage, too. And, and also weapon shooting speed, 1. 
So now I'm going... In fact, I want to do the military science first before going towards the pump jacks. So I can start doing that. 12,000? What do you mean? Where, where did it say 12,000? For some of the researches? Yeah, I mean, the, the research is four times as much. This is the most dangerous part of the run. Yeah, I agree. Once I have the flamethrowers, I should be like... It should, should be like kind of easy, right? I just need to make sure that I don't run out of things. Um, I will do the military side so that I can start making that at some point and then I go towards uh, the things. Okay. Come to me. Can I force them to come? This is big. This is small. I don't care about that. Over here, probably also a big one. Okay, they're coming. They're coming. Okay, I have 10 grenades. 10 grenades is okay, right? For this size, anyway. I should be aiming for the speeders, I think. Yeah, I guess this does help a lot. So I should just wait, uh, look at my minimap. And whenever I see a big group, I, sh I just do this. And I don't need a lot of grenades, right? I just used four there. I just used four there. Okay. The iron is almost full belt. But I'm running out of space to place my miners. Okay. So I will need to do a little bit of steel too. Steel also in this uh, Death World Marathon is not 5 copper, uh, if it's, not, it's not 5 iron, it's 10 iron. But I just need enough to start producing the uh, flamethrowers and make the things necessary to like the pump jacks and thing, right? Give me some of that. Okay. I guess I could place more with underground. But I don't think it's going to matter much. Okay. Alright. That corner is being attacked a lot. I have more raiders, can I place them somewhere in some good place? I can increase... I can change the positioning. Of the raider, it's over here right now. What kind of mode is this? This is Death World Marathon. 600%, it says so in the title, right? So, 600 biters. And uh, expensive research, expensive uh, recipes. But other than that default Death World Marathon, the only thing that I changed is 600% on the biters. The frequency and the size. Okay. Let's see. Over here group, over there group. Let's see who attacks first. I have 12 grenades. I'll help my turrets a little bit. A big attack on the bottom left, too. It's fine. Come on! 
It takes them so long to prepare for an attack. I have seen this like five minutes ago. So this is huge over there, I think, right? Like imagine this size probably. Because I don't see it fully. Over there, another one. And you start doing steel. How much... Okay, how much do I need? For uh, how much of the military science do, will I need? This is the only military science that I need. So like 200 military science, which should not be a lot, right? 200... 200... Uh, 200 red ammo... 200 red ammo means 200 steel, means 2,000 iron, okay. Uh, one of the other things that I'm considering is moving there, but at the same time if I move there, then I can, like, it means more walking, right? And especially if I want to help with grenades. But there is another little piece of iron ore. There we, there they go. Okay. They come for the middle for some reason. That's not the middle. They come from the left now. Oh, it, lo it looks like they come. What is this? this is, so hold on. They decided not to attack? Or what is this? Or did they already attack at the same time as this thing attacked? And I was not looking. Okay. On the bottom left now. On the bottom right, they are attacking again. I need... I need some... Some brick. Or something. Maybe. It didn't even come in time. All right. Okay, we have the military science. Let's start producing that. Uh, I need 200 pieces of steel. Repair pack is more expensive than wool, by the way, and turret. Um, is it? Repair pack is 12 iron and 8 copper. No, 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 it's not. It's not. This is 60 iron. And 10 copper. The, uh, the turret is 6 times, 5 times more expensive. The walls, probably, I don't need to repair the walls. That's that's probably true. I instead replace them with the new walls. Yeah, that's probably uh, right. But it's uh, such a small change of how much I use, I think. That it does not matter. I think it should not matter. Let me redo this a little bit here. Um, this is the coal miners. Or the smelteries.
Yeah, I did see it. Um, okay. I have 766 walls. This is still not walled off completely, but I... It looks like it's fine. Imagine if they, at some point, just are going to come over here in the middle, in between of all my turrets, into my base. Not going to happen, right? I need more power. Okay, anyway, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. This is going to be my temporary steel. This miner is out of things to mine. And more iron. More iron! I never have enough. Automation 2 is done. Um, fluid handling. Oil processing. Steam engine. Steam engine. I'm I, I like I think the one of the things is uh, just just not enough iron basically. So like it's good that I have it nearby, but the other one is also pretty small. Like in the starter, I had three hundred. How much did I do in the all of the time of the iron ore? Uh, 130, right? So, I used uh, a third of this already, right? This is also not very big. So I will need to move towards the next iron very soon. This one. So, I will need to kill all of these guys. Um, this is not, this is not connected. I'm gonna need trains. Yeah, I will, I will be using trains here. Yes. But first, we need the flamethrower. So this is going to be the power situation. Uh, this steel is going to require a lot of time. I need 200 uh, for the military science. But that's not all that I need, right? I need more than just the military science. Uh, this is very slow. Let's, let's improve the speed here. By making even more of the steel furnaces. <clears throat> okay. So right now I have 
28, okay. Grenades, walls, we already have. So it's just about the red ammo. Uh, which is basically just about... Uh, the steel, anyway. Alright. Now we need to be defending things. Uh, the double layer of walls... Is actually a double layer of walls is not going to prevent my turrets from being destroyed. It's because the speeders. Okay, let's do this anyway. In some places, I'm going to double up. I don't have too many walls, I think, right now. Not enough walls yet. Okay, I actually did not use that much. So I guess I could have just doubled the walls everywhere. Okay. My radar is not close enough to the biters. They are coming though. Okay, I'm prepared. That was a small one, though. Double wall is not gonna help? Well, it's going to help, uh, like, in case they break through. Not, not helping against the speeders, though. Yeah, that's true. Need to space in between. The turrets, I space them one apart from each other. I think that's okay. I don't need more space between them, do I? Grenades. 54. Okay, I will need 200 grenades, by the way. 200 grenades. I can do the heavy armor. But I will not, because that requires 50 steel. That's like a lot. 500 armor, iron. I'll do it later. It looks like I don't have enough coal. My iron is running out. Let's do another coal. Oil processing, okay. Uh, let me start by making a couple of Storage tanks, okay. Storage tanks. Let's do four. That should be enough for my... What's this? Yeah, I know. I know that you can do that. I was going to say that I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. I don't like that. The only reason. There are a lot of ways to be efficient in this game. That I don't really care about. Yeah, you are breaking the game, which is like similar to cheating in my opinion.
So that's why I don't like doing that. I'm not on like the hardest ever difficulty of the game, you know? This could have been a desert. We could have had no trees. It's not that hard. The thing that I'm doing here, I'll be fine. Pretty sure. Okay, I have the tanks. I will need some underground pipes. Not a lot of them. I mean, technically, I just cover this, uh, you know? I just cover this, technically. Uh, there is copper, there is iron, there is uranium. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, my belt is officially full here. Right? Kind of. I just need these. Uh, to be... Both sides. Give me the iron. Desert worlds are not fun. I don't know. Probably not. Grass is for the weak, you <laughs> see? Some people think it's f it's more fun with no grass. All right. Um, okay. This is good. So the next thing that I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to build my wall for now over here and then over here. And then over here. Just not a fan of how quickly pollution spreads. Feels like I can't think about base design. Uh, but that's the fun part. I, I feel... I don't know. Like, if you have too much space and too much time to think about the design, then it means that the game is too easy. And it needs to become harder. Like, I actually feel like my game right now is too easy. Um, uh, but, yeah, like, I'm, uh, it's okay. Uh, I'm not starting over on, on the more difficult settings, but. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too good at the game. You say surrounded by nests? Yeah, I mean, technically I am in a bit of trouble, right? Like, I can run out of iron and, like... This is very small, and, I, and like in order to get to this one, I need to do a lot of work, but... I don't know, I, I think I will be able to do it. No problem. I'm not only surrounded by nests, I'm also surrounded by turrets. Torture. Tor torture is where is where the enjoyment comes from. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I mean, my base is not even spaghetti. Like, look at this. We have a big smeltery, which is pretty nice, right? Uh, it's not. It's not even that spaghetti here. Okay. Let's repair this one. I'm going to finish the wall. Uh, for the wall, I will need more inserters. I will need more inserters.
And give me all the inserts. Alright. Okay. A little bit of this forest is going to have to go, uh, it seems. In order for me to build the wall, the thing over there. I just repaired the turret there. Okay, so we build a new wall. We even have some cliffs to help us out. Okay, so let's say that this is the wall. Say that this is the wall, so I'm going to have the turret here. Right here. Whatever.
Okay. The wall is here, and then I just make it go around my oil. And connect back to the base. Let's see. Any more inserters? <coughs> I mean, I probably will have more once I destroy the old part of the wall. But anyway. Let's see, the wall is going to... Is going to make it go back to my original wall over here. Conveyors. The iron running low. Hmm. I have 100 grenades. I'll make a splitter over here. Well, the processing is done. All right, flammables. The next thing is going to be the flamethrower. So this is just uh, me crafting manually, probably the... Well, not manually, but like temporarily the military science. I'm not automating that yet. <clears throat> Then we should start actually harvesting the oil soon. Once I finish this wall here in a second. Probably don't need that. No one is going to attack this direction, I think. They're attacking that corner, yeah. Like always. Need to go and repair that soon. And by soon, I guess. Wait, what? what is happening? Nah, it's fine. Finish this, then go around and do the repairs. And then do the oil. Uh, okay, maybe I can just do the oil. I just need the pump jack. We only need one pump jack anyway. Our oil is very, is very rich here. We have one little thing 
and that's all. So probably, actually, I will even do that before I do anything else. The oil. Mm, all right. There we go. We have the oil. Is this going to be enough for flamethrowers if I only have one? I'm wondering. I know that flamethrowers, they don't use that much, but is this big enough? 13 per second. Like, how much flamethrower actually uses? I'm doing 13 oil per second. Which is like nothing. I think the first thing that I'm doing is not the iron, I is the new oil. Which is nearby over here. Okay, and then I go through. Plumbles is almost researched. No one coming from this way? Or do I... I just don't see them. I wish the raiders had bigger radius. Or like, maybe improved raiders. Something that you could make. Okay, this over here also needs... More protection. The next copper? The next copper is not very close, yes. It is over here. I'm wondering if it's, like, better for me to do the landfill instead of going around. Probably is, right? <laughs> I probably will need to do the landfill and cross the, uh, the ocean here. only a hundred grenades. I need two hundred grenades. Maybe I just uh, make them manually here. Also, in addition to this thing. Let me do this temporarily here, so that I have things to, <clears throat> to repair. Okay. I just need to make... things now uh, let me also do another thing temporarily here which is more assemblers for that I need more iron how much steel do I have I have 
370 steel, which is actually more than enough. <clears throat> um, the green science is going to stop though because I'm stealing things here and I don't have enough iron. For the inserters and conveyors. Alright, flamethrower. I just don't research anything else. I just do this. But... Uh, I just want the, uh, the assemblers here. For the military signs. I'll have to do these things for them. I just need some copper, some, okay, 98, good. Uh, what else? Grenades. Walls. And then these things. Alright. Okay. So for more of these, I actually need more copper, it seems. Oh, shit. They require a lot of copper. Okay. This will be enough. This is more than enough. Actually. Uh, I just need 200. So the next thing is just the grenades. Just the grenades are left. Okay. I just make a couple of assemblers for that too. Okay. I'll not do any more. Okay, I should not be stealing from the signs here, I think. Not anymore. Okay. We have 14 military signs. I can bring this manually for now. And then I will also need to actually uh, build the flamethrowers, but we don't need that many. We don't need that many. Right? Oh, is it even constructed? I need engines. Oh, shit. I need steel. I need iron gear. So how much is it, actually? Hold on. So 30 steel means 300. So 400. Uh, and uh, plus 5 engines, uh, which is... Uh, engines was what? Two pipes, one gear, and steel. Which is 16. Right? So we do... 400. It's like 500 iron or something, right? 400... Four hundred and fifty, something like that. Iron or just one flamethrower. So if I have two hundred and nineteen, which means that this is enough for just four hundred uh, flamethrowers. Okay. Do I take that one then? I mean, I will, but I think with the first flamethrowers, I will place them... Nah, I will place the first flamethrowers here, too.
during age. Hello, Marathon is more expensive items as research, is that correct? Yes. So, like, every single research, like optics, for example, in default, it is it is 10, it is 10 science, but we have, uh, basically, everything is 4 times as expensive to research. So, 4 instead of 10. And uh, Flamethrower is 200 instead of 50. Uh, one second. <clears throat> okay but yeah uh expensive research and also expensive uh recipes so a gear is four iron plates instead of two and uh, the electronic circuit is two iron plates and eight copper cables instead of one and three i'm not sure about any other recipes i guess steel is also different right 10 iron plates instead of five uh not sure about the other ones copper cable is the same iron stick is the same Engine unit is the same. The sciences themselves are the same. I think it's just these. Gear, electronic circuit, and steel. Maybe something else? But I don't see any other differences. I mean, I almost at the flamethrower. Uh, we are five hours in, right? And we are almost... Uh, we are researching the flamethrower. So, once I build the flamethrowers... What's the next thing that can kill me? Uh, I guess me just... Not be... So, like, the next thing would be to do is uh, the bots. So that I can repair the things automatically. Because they are going to be damaged. Right? And also, like, research more damage upgrades, maybe. But yeah. At least I'm going to stop using a lot of my iron. Is there an end goal for this? Like, SPM goal or something? Well, we'll see, we'll see. So, like, yesterday I finished the regular death world in 8 hours. With no spoon and, like, lazy bastard. So there are some achievements in this game that so the, these all of these achievements that I got was from the previous run in the regular death world and the other ones are basically not time constrained so I think I might do the remaining achievements on this run basically and then we'll see the mega base science per minute thing I'm not sure if it's going to happen maybe I feel like it. Um, yeah, and that rocket that I launched on the previous round was my third rocket ever, so I never did a mega base. I never, I never did a Death World marathon run, the regular. But I think we're fine. Just this stage of the game, which is the hardest one. Before the flamethrower. I'm currently doing a motor run where he's trying to beat a super OP solar panel that generates 1 terawatt of power. And 100,000 science per minute base. Yeah, we'll see. I did. I did mod it, 
but uh, I mostly play just early game, like before. Like only the red and green signs, basically. I I I, I did one of the mod packs, but I did not get very far. And walls. I'm not making enough walls. I need to push these guys a little bit. You need to make 16 million normal solar panels to build this special solar panel. Amazing. What uh, what mod is that? Is that space exploration stuff? Or something else? Hundred and twenty two, which means that I'm almost there. It's an old mod you found of another power mod called Luciferous Factory Power. All right, I never heard about it. Let's see. Steel. I have enough steel for one. Oh, I have enough steel for more than one. Flamethrower. Uh, I, need, I need to start doing the engine units, though. Let's start also doing the engine units. I'll do some temporary things here. Which I think is fine. Where am I from? I'm from Russia. Gears and pipes. Is it dark there? Uh, yeah, you can see the window over here, and that's the outside window. It's pretty dark. It is, uh, you can see the time over here. It's, uh, 18.45 p.m. for me. middle I'm just in the middle I guess east a, a little bit
in Moscow it's right now one hour less than 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 for me. Okay, it looks like I actually did more science than needed, right? Okay, flamethrower is researched. Look at this, amazing. Okay, the next science is going to need to be automated, right? And anything else I can like handcraft, like n not one, not twelve hundred, right? This is going to require automation of the military science. Uh, what else can I do though? Uh, defender bots. Anyone else? Uh, uh, anyone tried the bots? Is this a good thing? Rocketry. I think I will do rocketry to de delete some biters. Uh, maybe I can. I or I will push with flame throwers. Refined flammables is probably more important than physical damage now. Uh, or I can also go ahead and do the mines. Mines are OP. In the in the regular death world, I use them. These things are OP. Do I have a lot of hours in this game? Not a lot, not a lot. I think what I have is basically like nothing. I have in Factorio 729 hours. Less than a thousand, so not much. Uh, electric energy distribution, maybe. I mean, I have a lot of wood. I don't... What's the most important thing here? I can do advanced material processing. This will reduce the pollution. But at the same time, do I want to use that steel? For anything else than the flamethrowers for now? I don't know. A landfill for the copper, but that's not going to be required for a long time. I can't do the weapon shooting speed in case they go through my flamethrowers. Mines are OP if you use the far reach mod. Even without the far reach mod, we did the uh, no spoon death world, and uh, you, I just I just run my car around the the the, the bases and place my mines, and they just. They just get destroyed. Okay, this is not needed. Stop producing these things. Red ammo for myself. That I did too much. Okay, uh, heavy armor is what I have now. Okay. Now I need to start doing the engines. Um, okay, let me see. Let me see. Thanks for the follow. This, this, this. That, that, that. I'm not going to connect this automatically, but I can do like a chest, right? I can do a chest here, and I can do uh, a chest here, and I can do another chest over here. So, this, this, and that. I'm going to need some gears. I'm going to need some pipes. Did I make the pipes? I did make the pipes. Gears, pipes, and steel over here. <clears throat> and then I take the engines. Um, more gears, pipes, and steel. So technically everything is going to continue coming this way.
Mm, let's just do it this. There you go. This is my flamethrower. Don't die. I'm about to get a flamethrower. Okay, let's limit this just in case. I have too much <laughs> things there. All right, uh, gear, gear and pipe, which actually means that I probably want to be taking at least a little bit of this from here. Let me actually do the stealing. Let me actually do the stealing and. Um, Sure, I will not do the chest here. I will just do it like this here. Uh, okay. So, except for the steel, it is automated. And I just put the steel there manually because I don't have a lot of steel. All right. And eventually we're going to have all the things here. It's eventually though. Okay, it's going to require this belt to pile up with the engines, I guess. Which means that I might want to craft my first one a little sooner. I gotta go. I have to sort out work issue quick. Might be back later. It's just still streaming. I think as soon as I'm like having the flamethrowers, I'm going to actually end for today. I'm... I'm feeling sick, uh, so yeah, I'll continue tomorrow. For today, my goal was to get to the flamethrower stage, and it looks like we're getting there. So yeah, here's my first flamethrower. Yeah, peace. Thanks for coming by. Okay, uh, so I just put them in the problematic areas, right? And also, I am going to need to rebuild some things here, I think. I think this wall, I'm just going to move the wall over here, right? And uh, so the way I'm going to build it is that the turrets... The gun turrets are not going to reach unless the wall is breached. And the flame turrets are going to also be not very close to the wall. I mean, that is going to require a lot of time. I'm, I am considering just stopping here because I have my flamethrower. And then next time we see if I am quick enough to build it before they break my wall somewhere. Which will probably not happen. I should have placed some raiders around, by the way. But yeah. So, once we have the wall with the turrets, let's see how much oil we have that's a little bit 
Once we have the walls around with the flame turrets, we are going in this direction towards this iron. Towards that oil, probably. And that oil, maybe. Uh, we have a little bit of copper here. A little bit of extra iron on our way. And then the copper on the other side of the ocean is another thing. So, yeah. Let me just place the radar there so that I don't forget to do it later. My, my belt is not full, by the way. Hold on. What's happening with my ammo? Wire arm. I have been using it. 80, but producing 190. Okay, I'm actually good. I'm actually good with the ammo. And play some raiders here. And over here. Maybe go ahead and repair the wall. Around. I would wait for these guys, but it takes so long to wait for them. But I will not be able to react myself and come in time. Otherwise, I would use a grenade there. Okay, I will use the grenade over here, I guess. I just been there. Oh, um, okay. It's alright. The first flamethrower is probably constructed by now. Maybe even two of them. I have four flamethrowers. Oh my god. Alright. Four flamethrowers. And we are going to start placing them uh, next time. So let me save this as a uh, death. Marathon. 600. Alright. There you go. Save. We'll continue next time. Thanks, guys, for watching. Let's um, let's raid someone. So I have some viewers. 100% speedrun. Where it is, thanks for the follow. All the overhauls. That's the big mod pack. Any more Death Worlders? No Death Worlders. I'm the only person playing Death World. Okay. Okay. I know that uh, all, all the overhauls is probably... This is day 20. They have cars. This looks fun. Might consider doing something like this eventually.
All right. See you guys next time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Bye.